All right. Ready, All right. Hello, everyone. Can you guys wave hello? I can see all of you guys. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited that you guys are here. Who has been here earlier this week for crafts? Raise your hand if you did some of the crafts earlier this week. Awesome. We're glad you're back. And those of you that are here for the first time, welcome. I am Lynn Lilly, and I'm here with Crayola, and we're going to do two fun crafts today. So today is all about paper plates. That's going to be the key ingredient in both of the projects that we do. So I've got two different size paper plates today, one for each one of the crafts we're doing, but you guys can vary each size. So whatever you got at home, hold up your paper plates and show them to me. Let me see what you guys got. All right, everyone's got their paper plates. Nice. Ooh, I see a really fun color one. That's going to look cool with the project we're doing. All right, so to get started, we are going to make a llama. But as I go through, if you guys have questions, you can chat those questions to Rosanna. So look for Rosanna's name. She's sitting right over here next to me in the room, and she'll be tallying up your questions, and she'll interrupt me. So if you need me to slow down or repeat a step, or you've got a question about something I just did, go ahead and chat that question to her. All right, you guys ready? Our first one is going to be a llama. Who likes llamas? Yay! I see some llama lovers there. All right. So there is no llama drama here today. We are just going to have fun. So everyone take their first paper plate. Everyone's got their paper plate. We're going to take our scissors. Got your scissors? And we're going to cut that plate in half. So if you have a hard time figuring out where the half is, here's what we can do. We can fold our paper plate in half. So go ahead and fold your paper plate in half. That's going to help us tell where the halfway point is on our paper plate. All right, so use your fingers to fold it in half. And once you get it folded, go ahead and open it back up like that. And then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut along that folded line. So use your scissors, and I've got my Crayola Kid scissors in my hand, so just be careful when you are cutting. We're gonna cut all the way to the end, so our one paper plate becomes two halves. All right, so go ahead, I'm gonna wait for you guys. I can see you guys cutting, so I'm gonna give you guys a second to go ahead and cut that in half. All right, so we got our halves. Hold up your halves once you got them. Let me see them. All right, looks like we're ready to go. Okay, guys, so now what we're gonna do is one half is going to be the body of our llama. So we're gonna set that half aside. The other half, we're gonna draw our head, our legs, and our tail. So what I want you to do is I want you to grab a pencil or a marker. I'm gonna do mine in markers so you guys can see it better. But we're gonna start by drawing our head. So to make it easy, turn your paper plate so that it's facing, lay it down like I've got it, and we're going to draw our head. So watch me draw the shape of the head first. We're going to start with the neck. So every llama's got to have a neck. So draw the line straight up. And then when we get to the top, our llama's got to have some ears. So let's draw two ears for our llama. Okay, we got two ears. And then let's draw the head of our llama. So bring the head around. And then we're gonna finish off his neck. So we wanna make his neck a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and extend that down towards the end of the plate. All right, you guys wanna see me do it again? Yeah, all right, so let me cut a second one and I'll show you how to draw it again just so it gives you guys a minute. All right, so we're gonna draw it again. So you see how to draw the head. I'm gonna set this one here. So we're gonna start towards the bottom of our plate and we're going to draw our neck first, right? We're gonna take our neck up and then we gotta draw ears because our llama has got to have ears. So one ear and two ears. Okay, and then our llama's got to have a head. We're going to draw the head of our llama, 
And then we're gonna come and draw the neck and bring that neck towards the bottom of the plate so it's nice and long. All right, so before we cut out our head, we're gonna draw our legs. The llama has how many legs? Four legs, right? So we're gonna draw four llama legs. So we've got some kind of space on the outside of where we drew our head and our neck. So let's just go ahead and draw some long oval-like legs. And we need to draw four of those, okay? So take a look at what they look like, the shape. I can hold it up closer if you guys need to see it better. But you need to draw four of those. And that extra space that you have around the llama head. And so you can kind of move around the plate, give yourself plenty of room and try and make your legs almost the same size. All right, give me a thumbs up if we've got our legs drawn. You got some thumbs up. All right, I'm seeing it. Okay, so our last thing we've got to draw is we have to draw our tail. Our llama's got to have a little bushy tail. So find some extra space that you haven't drawn on on this side of the plate. So I'm gonna do mine right on the here, and we're gonna make our tail look like a teardrop, okay? So you can look at a teardrop or a raindrop. I'm gonna hold that up so you guys can see it. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our scissors and we're gonna cut out all of these pieces, okay? So we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna first start and cut out our head. So cut around. And now if you used a marker like I did, go ahead and cut on the inside of those lines so that we don't see those lines when we get them out. We're gonna end up painting over this and making our llama a fun color. And a reminder guys, if you did tune in late, you can chat your questions to Rosanna. So look for Rosanna's name in the chat and you can chat your questions to her. If you've got some, do we have any questions so far? Nope, we all got on questions? All right. So now if you didn't have a paper plate guys, you could also do this on a piece of cardboard or with a piece of construction paper. Um, you can do the exact same thing. You'll just want to start with a circle shape. All right, so we're getting our, our head cut out. So once you get your head cut out, set him aside. And then let's go ahead and cut out our legs and our tail. All right, so I want you guys, while you're cutting, to start thinking about what color you're going to make your llama. So we're going to use some washable paint to paint our llama, but if you don't have washable paint, guess what? You can use markers. So you don't have a washable paint, go ahead and pull out your Crayola markers, and we can use those as well. So have those ready, and as you cut out your legs, go ahead and set them aside. And we're gonna wanna have something to cover your table before we paint. So if parents are watching, go ahead and grab a scrap piece of newspaper or a paper towel or something that you can put under here so that your surface doesn't get dirty. All right, so we're on leg number three. How are we doing on cutting, guys? Are we good? Yeah, oh, I love the thumbs up. You guys are amazing. All right. So leg number three, and then we're gonna cut out number four. So we'll cut out leg number four, and then we can't forget about our llama's tail. All right. Who has seen a llama in real life? Raise your hand, have you seen a llama in real life? All right, some of you guys have seen a llama. I have seen llamas in real life. I love llamas. They are some of my favorite animals. All right, so now we're cutting out the tail. That's gonna be our last piece and I'll give you guys a second to finish cutting. And then you can go ahead and get rid of those extra scraps. We can throw those away or put them aside. All right, so you guys give me a thumbs up if you're done cutting. All right, looks like we need another minute. So I'm gonna give you guys another minute to keep cutting. Some people are still working. So if you're done, just be patient. We got, we got some thumbs up. All right, okay. So they're telling me they saw all your thumbs up over there. All right, so we're gonna move on 
So what we need to do is put out your legs, your tail, your head, and then your body of the llama on your surface. So whether you got a paper towel or something, but put it on top of something so when we paint, we don't get it messy. Now, I want you to pick out a color. So I've got my Crayola washable paints here, and I've got a bunch of different colors, but I wanna see what color you guys are gonna paint. I'm gonna go with yellow, because I think yellow's fun for summer. What color are you guys gonna use? Show me to the camera, let me see what colors. All right, I see a whole bunch, I see some red. Remember, you can use your markers too. So if you don't have your paint, you can also use your markers. Oh, I see an orange. All right, so either grab your paint, or grab a magic marker and we will get started. So if you're using paint, we can go ahead and put a little bit on another separate paper plate and we're gonna get a brush. But if you're using a marker, you can just go ahead and paint. If you're using a marker, you just go ahead and start coloring. If you're painting, go ahead and get some paint on your brush and we're gonna paint all of these pieces, okay? So go ahead and start painting, and one light coat will be enough because we want it to dry quickly, all right? So go ahead and paint that body first, and if you're coloring with markers, okay? You're coloring with markers, and if you're still cutting, that's okay. We'll give you guys a second to catch up, right? If you're still cutting, who's still cutting? Give me a thumbs up if you're still cutting so I can see who's still cutting. All right, so we'll wait for just a second. If you guys have already started or painted, started uh, painting or coloring, you can go ahead and do that. All right, because we're gonna need to paint or color all of these pieces. So make sure it might be a little challenging to get it in the little ridges of your paper plate. If yours has some ridges like mine does, you can always flatten it out if you need to. Okay. All right. So if you guys missed any part of this, remember we'll post this on michaels.com too at, um, by tomorrow. So if you need to see any of the shapes, all the shapes, I'll stop and show you these shapes again. Our legs are just like elongated ovals. They can be like big zeros, right? So we need four of those. So if you're still cutting, that's the shape that you're gonna do for your legs. And then for your tail, it looks like a teardrop or a raindrop. So that's gonna be the tail, okay? So you guys need some more help with that. I'll give you a few minutes. Um, we're gonna keep painting, so we make sure we keep moving along. All right, so I've got my body painted and you only need to paint or color one side, okay? So now I'm gonna do my head. And I'm gonna make sure, I'm just doing a light coat of paint too. You don't have to do a ton of paint, guys. It'll also dry faster, because we wanna make sure that we finish this up. All right, so paint your head. And if you're having problems getting in those ridges of the paper plate, you can kind of just flatten it out to help you paint it. All right. So once you get your head like that, check it out. Then I'm gonna move on to paint my tail and my four legs, okay? So tail and four legs, same color. Now, if you really wanna get crazy, you could use two different colors if you wanted to. It's up to you. So you can make your legs a different color and your head a different color. You guys can have fun. The creativity is up to you. So we're painting these last bit of legs and then once I get done here, I'll give you guys a second to catch up if you're still behind. Put a little bit more paint on here. And I want you guys to be thinking about a name for your llama. You gotta name your llama when you're done, okay? So we have to name our llama. And I wanna know what everyone's names are. All right. So I've got my pieces painted. I'm gonna wait for just a second for you guys to keep painting. But if you are done, you can put your brush in some water 
or have a parent go rinse it off. All right, so I'm trying to check it out and see how you guys are doing. If you're done painting or coloring, give me a thumbs up. All right, you guys are still working. I'm gonna give you a second. I wanna see some smiles while you're crafting, guys. Let me see some smiles. I wanna see those pearly whites. Cause crafting is fun, right guys? Oh, I just saw a really cute little baby. All right, we got a question. We have a llama named Linda. A llama named Linda. I love it. That is super cute. All right, keep telling me your llama names. You can chat those llama names to Rosanna um, and she'll shout them out. Llama named Linda. I like it. Um, so get creative with your names. I think I'm gonna need my llama after my daughter. My daughter's name is Lily. So it's gonna be a llama named Lily. Um, so I want to hear what your llama names are. All right, how we doing? Do we got some thumbs up if we're done painting? We got some thumbs up, some, some, some. All right, we got some. All right, so we're gonna keep moving just because I want to make sure we've got two crafts to do today, and then I got a surprise bonus at the end for you too. All right, so we're going to let our body and our head and our legs dry for just a few minutes, okay? We're gonna cut the saddle for our llama because you know, llamas gotta have a saddle and it gives them a little bit of flair, right? It's a little bit of an outfit for them to wear. So what I'm using is the Crayola Bright Pop cardstock pad. And this is my absolute favorite cardstock pad because check out all of the colors on this paper. Isn't this so fun? I love this paper. Now, if you don't have this pad, you can use regular construction paper or any pattern paper that you have. Um, so go ahead and pick out whatever piece of paper you want to use for your saddle. It can be a solid sheet or it can be a pattern piece of paper. But in case you want to see that again, if you don't have it, parents, this is a really fun one to have. You'll use this for a ton of stuff. Check it out. Sold out Michaels. It's really fun. Um, and you can make so many things with it from crafts to cards. It's really fun colors. All right. So now if you're got a pattern piece of paper to make it easy, flip it over to the other side so that you can see what you're drawing. And I'm going to use my marker again. You guys can use a pencil. Um, I want you guys to be able to see the lines. All I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a half circle. That's it just a half circle. I'll do it again so you guys can see. Half circle. Okay. And then we're going to cut that out. We just need to cut out one. I did two so you guys could see what I was doing, but go ahead and cut out your one half circle. And that's going to be our saddle. Okay. So we're gonna cut this guy out and then we can flip it over, see what our saddle looks like. We're gonna set that down. All right, who needs to see me do the saddle again? All right, so I'm gonna do it one more time. I'll draw another one and cut it out. So I'm starting at the edge of my paper and I'm just doing a half circle. Doesn't have to be super even, okay? Half circle. And I'm going to cut it out. You want to make sure that that is a little bit smaller than your paper plate so the saddle doesn't take up your whole llama's body. All right. And then we flip it over and we've got what is going to be our saddle. And you'll see the saddle is going to go right on there in just a second. All right. We got our saddles made. Thumbs up, guys. Yeah. All right, I see those thumbs up. Okay, so we can set that paper aside. And now let's check and see how our llama's drying. Ooh, he's pretty much dry. All right, so if you use paint, your llama should be pretty dry right now. The paint, uh, the washable paint dries really fast on the paper plates. So now we're gonna take some glue. So I'm using my Crayola washable glue, okay? If you don't have that, you can also use a glue stick. So we've got both for you. And if you don't have either of those, you can also use tape to tape the, the pieces on, all right? So three options for you. So we're gonna get started by gluing our head on first. 
So go ahead and make sure you've got your legs and you put your legs up towards the top till we get to them. All right, and we've got our head. So our head is gonna get glued right on. So make sure that your flat side of your paper plate is facing up. You're gonna take your head and we're gonna end up gluing that right on the end there, okay? So that he sticks up. So what I want you to do, take your glue, whether you're using your washable glue or you're using your glue stick, put some glue on the end of your paper plate. The end of this part of the head there, that end of the plate. See it? Okay. Right, we got our glue on our heads. Once you get your glue on, we're gonna go ahead and put it on our body. So go ahead and glue it behind and just hold it there for a second with your fingers, okay? You wanna lightly press it so that it sticks together. So use just a little bit of muscle Press it together until you can move your fingers and it sticks. You can see how I stuck it behind. I'll hold it up so you guys can see it. That's what it looks like from the front. Okay, so now what we're gonna do to make life easy with our legs, we're gonna turn it over, okay? So the non-painted side of your paper plate should be facing up. Okay, so we glued on our head already. We made sure it's extra stuck. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue our legs. So we wanna make sure that the paint part is facing down. So we're gonna put our legs on the back edge of our paper plate and we're gonna kind of group them together. So we got our two front ones and our two back ones and we're gonna set them together, okay? All right, so once you kind of figure out where you want your legs, we're gonna do the same thing with our glue. We're gonna pick up one leg, we're gonna turn it over for a second so the yellow part is facing up, and we're gonna put just a little bit of glue, just a teeny tiny bit, on the end, okay? We're gonna bring it back down, and we're gonna flip it back over so that our painted part is facing down and we're gonna glue that leg on the edge of the paper plate, okay? Now we're gonna do the same thing with our other three legs. So pick up your second leg, turn it right side up, put a little bit of glue on the end, and then turn it back around and glue it on the edge right by your first leg, okay? So your two front legs should be glued. And then when you're ready, let's move on to our back legs. So we're gonna take our first back leg, we're gonna flip it so the paint side is up. We're gonna put a little paint, or excuse me, a little glue, little glue on the end. Turn it back around, and we're gonna put that on the edge of the paper plate. Now we've got one more leg to do. We're gonna do the same thing. Turn it right side up, put a little bit of glue on the edge, and then we're going to turn it face down, and we're gonna glue it on by that other back leg. Now, just use your fingers, make sure to press those down, make sure they're glued nice and good to the stick. And then we're gonna turn it back over when you're done. And remember guys, if you've got questions, chat those to Rosanna. I'm here to answer any questions you have. Okay, so let's flip our llama. And then we're gonna take our tail. That's our last thing to glue on. We are going to put a little glue on the back of our tail. Little dot of glue on the back. Little dot of glue. Okay. And then we're going to 
glue that on the end. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep going for time's sake so we make sure that we get through both crafts. But if you guys missed any parts of this, this video will be on michaels.com in the class section tomorrow. So you can go back and rewatch it. All right, we've got our tail on. Now it's time to glue on our saddle. Do you remember our saddle that we cut out of our fun paper? Let's go ahead and flip that saddle over and we're gonna put some glue on the back, okay? And we're gonna glue our saddle right on our body of our llama. All right, show me your llamas. We're not done with them yet, but I wanna see your llamas. Once you get your saddle glued on, hold up your llamas so I can see them. Ooh, I see an orange llama, I see a green llama. Wow, you guys, they look so good. I see a pink one. Ooh, I see one that's two colors. I love that. Those look so good, guys. All right, let's put the finishing touches on our llama. Um, I've got some metallic markers here. So some of Crayola Project's metallic markers that I'm gonna use. You guys can also use your regular markers as well. So let's grab some markers and let's finish off our llama. So let's go to the face of our llama. I've got a black marker to do this, but you can do, it's black metallic, you can do any color you want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw this, the front part of the reins, just a little line right there. So that's kind of the reins of our llama. So if we were gonna ride our llama, and we're gonna give our llama a little smiley face, okay? We're also gonna give our llama an eye, just like that. And then I'm gonna switch colors to finish off some of my llama, his reins that are gonna go down his neck. So I'm just gonna draw some lines down his neck. And you can decorate these, so they could be decorative reins. We're gonna add some dots to them, but you guys can decorate them however you want. And then don't forget, maybe your llama's got some little pink spots inside of his ears. So we can put some little dots inside of our llama's ears. And then you can also add some decorations around your saddle. So maybe we wanna do some nice, just little lines around our saddle. And then we can add some marks for our llamas that have hooves. So maybe give them some toes right there. And you guys can keep decorating, all right? So I'll let that up to you. You can decide how much you wanna decorate, but I wanna see, let's see those final llamas. Let's hold them up to the camera one more time. Let's see it. Woo, you guys, they look so good. We got blue ones, we got green ones. They look awesome. We got a purple one up there. Ooh, I like that blue that was like two-toned with red. That was really cool. You guys have done such a good job. So you can see my llama and then look, you can get creative with it. I got a purple one, I got my yellow one. So you can make a whole family of llamas and you can use different size plates too. So that was craft number one. Did you guys like it? Show me your hands if you liked it. Show me you liked it, yay! All right guys, let's move on to number two, which is going to be an alien. So who likes aliens? Yeah, aliens are cool, right? I like aliens. All right, so we need to go ahead and get a paper plate. I'm using a bigger one for this, but you can use any size you want. And we're gonna cut a shape out of this. So I am going to use my marker, but you guys can also use a pencil, but I wanna use the marker so that you guys can see it a little bit better. So we're gonna start on the edge of our paper plate right here, and we're gonna draw a line. So my paper plate's kinda got a circle, See that circle on the inside? I'm gonna use that as a guideline. And we're gonna draw around that circle. If you don't have a circle, you can kind of just guesstimate and make a kind of half circle and finish it out, okay? So that is the shape. I'll do it again. So you guys can see it again. So we'll start at the edge of our paper plate. We'll draw a line in. And if you do have that circle in the center of your plate, use that as a guideline. We're gonna draw that half circle and come right about around to where we started that line. And we're gonna draw another line, okay? Once we get that drawn, 
we're gonna cut it out. So we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna follow those lines that we just drew and we're gonna cut that out. So if you did use a black marker, try and cut on the inside of the lines. And again, if you don't have paper plates for this, guys, you can use a piece of construction paper, a piece of cardstock, a piece of cardboard. Um, you could just really have to draw the shape, that's it. So it's up to you, if you don't have that, you can substitute with any of those things. So we're gonna cut out our shape, All right? Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a second. Once you get your shape cut out, hold it up to the screen so I can see how far you guys are. All right, I'm watching you cut, so keep cutting. And keep that pencil or that marker handy because we're gonna draw an alien in just a second. So I see some of you guys are still cutting. So I'm gonna wait for just a minute. And we're gonna draw our alien. And we're gonna use a couple different things to decorate on here. So if you wanna go ahead and get those out, if you're done and you're waiting, we can use markers. If you've got your metallic markers, you can also use those. Um, and we're gonna use some glitter glue too. So we've got some glitter glue from Crayola. My favorite, I love this glitter glue. So we're also gonna use some glitter glue. And then we're also gonna use some googly eyes. So we're gonna have lots of fun with this guy. All right, are we ready? Let's see those paper plates. All right, we're gonna keep moving so we make sure that we get done. All right, so you've got kind of that circle towards the bottom. So use your pencil to just kind of draw where that circle is. That's gonna be our line, okay? And let's just think about this as our alien kind of in our spaceship. And this is gonna be the window that you're looking in at your alien. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw. You can make your alien look whatever you want. It can be a monster alien, it can be a friendly alien. So I'm gonna just do a simple alien and I'm gonna draw. Let me do it in marker so you guys can see it a little better. I'm gonna just draw a half shape up, just a rounded shape. Almost looks like part of a potato. <laughs> so go ahead and draw that shape. We're gonna keep it simple for this alien. Okay, and you can do this with pencil. I'm doing it with marker so you guys can see it. We'll come back and we'll color it in in a few minutes. But I also want to give my alien multiple eyes and antennas. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna draw some antennas up for my alien, okay? And then I'm gonna give him some circles on the end and we're gonna end up putting some googly eyes there. And if you don't have googly eyes, you can draw in those eyes as well. Now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a color. So pick out a marker color. If you wanna paint it, you can, but the marker's gonna be faster if we wanna go ahead and finish it. So let's pick out a color. I think I'm gonna make mine pink. You guys can make yours whatever color you want. So I'm gonna color right on the inside of those black lines that I made, and I'm gonna color in my alien. And remember to follow that line you made yourself at the bottom because that's this is the line for the window. Like you're looking in on your alien in its spaceship, right? We're gonna pretend that our alien lives in a spaceship. You also gotta name your aliens too, guys, okay? So I made you name your llamas, you gotta name your aliens too. I like to name things and give them names. So if you've got a name picked out for your alien, chat that to Rosanna. We wanna see what your, your alien names are. So keep those colors in the lines. Okay, all right, so I'll give you guys a second to color that in, okay? And then if we do, if you do have some glitter glue, go ahead and grab that glitter glue because we're gonna use that in just a second. All right, I've got a couple different colors here. All right, so let's go ahead and put our googly eyes on so we know where our eyes are. So if you've got googly eyes, if you don't, you can go ahead and just draw in your eyes. But we're gonna put two googly eyes on the antennas. And then I think our monster should have a third eye. What do you guys think? Third eye for the monster? Let's put our third eye right there on the body of our monster. Whoop. 
whoop, on the body of our alien. <laughs> he could be a monster. And if for some reason he doesn't stick, you can always put some glue. If your googly eyes don't have stick on the back, just add a little drop of glue, okay? We're gonna put our third one right there. All right. And then if you have some metallic markers, you can pull out those metallic markers as well, or your regular markers, and we can decorate a little bit. So before we get back to decorating our alien, I'm gonna use one of my metallic markers. You guys can pick whatever color marker you want. And I'm gonna do the window part of my monster's spaceship. So I drew a line right along the bottom, and then I'm also gonna outline it. So I'm gonna draw a line around the edge, each edge. And then I'm gonna draw a line around the bottom. So we're gonna frame what is the spaceship part of our monsters. We'll call it our monsters or our aliens house. I really like monsters too, guys, but aliens can be both. They can be monsters too. All right, so you got two choices. You can color this whole thing in if you want to, or you can just do some fun designs. So I'm just gonna do some stripes. And then I'm gonna come back with my glitter glue. So you can color the whole thing in, or you can just do some decorations. It's up to you. What kind of designs you wanna do, okay? And then I think it's time to have some fun with some glitter glue. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take my silver glitter glue, open it up, and I'm gonna actually outline my alien. So where I have my black marker, I'm gonna use my glitter glue. And what I love about glitter glue, and parents, if you're watching, you're gonna love this too, because as a mom to a two and a half year old who loves glitter, we all know glitter can get messy, but the glitter glue is wonderful because the glitter doesn't leave the glue. So you don't get glitter everywhere and you still get the fun sparkle. So I'm gonna outline my alien like that. All right, so he's got a nice little outline. And you can keep decorating that part if you want, but I'm gonna come back in with my blue and I'm gonna add a smiley face because I want my alien to be happy. So I'm gonna do a little smiley face with my glitter glue, like that. And then I think my alien should have some polka dots. What do you guys think? Polka dots, yeah. So I'm gonna take my glitter glue and I'm gonna add some spots. And when I do my spots, I just squeeze out a little bit and pull it up. So we're gonna add those spots to our alien, right? Okay, add my spots. You guys can decorate your alien however you want. And then I'm gonna come back and use my silver again. And I'm gonna add some polka dots on my alien spaceship. So I'm gonna add some dots in between those lines that I drew. And then we're gonna finish out our alien's window by outlining it in glitter glue. All right, so we got some spots. Now you could do this in marker too, but I'm gonna just take a nice line of glitter glue to finish it off. And you can also write your alien's name as well. So you can write that alien's name so we're gonna finish him out, and in just a second, I wanna see what you guys have created. All right. And then remember, I've got a bonus project for you guys too. So I'm gonna give you a second. I'm gonna also show you another one that we made ahead of time, so you guys can see two different options of different things that you can make. All right. All right, guys. Who's done? Let me see them. Hold them up to the camera. <gasps> Good job. There's lots of eyeballs on that alien. I love it. Oh, your alien's got hands. Cool. <gasps> you guys, they look so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you guys. So two different options that you guys can make. So if you are still working, you guys can still keep crafting even if you're still working on your llamas that we made at the beginning. If you jumped in late and you missed the llama, this video will be posted on michaels.com too at the end, but I've got one more bonus for you. So we wanted to share a really cool new product, parents, that you're going to like. 
and it's coming out. It's by Crayola, and it's coming out in my Clothes July 10th. So these are super cool for school projects. These are, check them out, I'm gonna get them real close to, oh, yeah, okay. So these are the Crayola Project Quick Dry Paint Sticks. So these are really awesome for school projects. They dry super quick, and they will be available at Michael's online and in-store July 10th. And I'm gonna show you how quick they dry with a really fun project. So we're gonna finish this off. This is just a bonus. Supplies were not listed on the page. This is a fun surprise that you guys can go back and make later. So if you are making a paper bag star, which is what I'm gonna show you, you just need paper lunch bags and you need eight of them, okay? So eight of those paper lunch bags. And what you're gonna do, kids, is you would just color. So we're gonna take our quick dry paint sticks and we're just gonna color on our paper bag. And what the cool part is, they literally dry in just a few minutes. So eliminating the mess of paint, which is really cool, especially if you're making a school project and it's last minute, these are really, really great to use. So you would go ahead and do a whole bunch of these. So you did eight of them and you wanna color the back and the front. So we wanna color both sides. You give it a minute or two to dry. You can see, look, doesn't smear already dry. So it dries super quick. So once you do all of yours, what you do is you stack them up and you use, you can use your glue, either your glue stick or your um, washable glue. And you take that glue and you're going to glue all of your paper bags together. And as a reminder, so Crayola.com has this project, a full tutorial for it as well. So I'm going to just glue these on here. I let them dry for a minute or two. And then I take my scissors and I trim the ends of all of my paper bags into a point, okay? Into a point, and then you ready for the magic? <gasps> How cool is this? Can we get a front view so you can see the star? <gasps> Oh, are we switching? Are we switching? I want you guys to see it. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so check it out. We'll do this again. Once you glue them all together, you cut the point and ta-da! You have a paper bag star. You can see I've got one hanging behind me on the wall. So um, this is a really great project to use the new Crayola paint sticks with, all right? So a really, really fun project that you can use them for. Um, so go ahead and you can use the projects for that. And it dries super quick. So really, really easy for your kids to use. And those will be available in store at Michael's on July 10th. And if you wanna watch this whole video on how to make the paper bag star, you can go to Crayola.com and just search paper bag star and you'll be able to find a video project for that. All right, kiddos, I would love for you to hold up your projects one last time. I wanna see what you guys made. So hold up that alien and that llama one last time. All right, good job, guys. They look awesome. You guys are such awesome crafters. So as a reminder, we're doing this two more times this week. So on Thursday and Friday, I will be here again at 4 p.m. Eastern. So what you've got to do is go back to michaels.com Click that link that says classes and events and you'll see the kids club events. You'll see the Crayola ones listed. Sign up for those ahead of time. We're doing more really fun crafts the rest of the week. So, and parents, if you do share your kids projects on social media, make sure you use the hashtag make it with Michaels and hashtag Crayola crafts. We want to see what you guys are making. Um, do we have any last minute questions I can answer? No, we're all good. All good. All right, guys, thank you so much for crafting with me. I will see you tomorrow. I want to see you guys back tomorrow. I'm going to ask who's back from previous days. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Everyone wait. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.